Today we are going to discuss about the AC through RL series circuit, RC series circuit, thereafter RL series circuit. The first CD AC through RL series circuit. So here we are saying that it is a RL series circuit. That means we need to connect resistance, inductance, both are connected in series. Now if you observe here, this resistance and inductance both are connected in series. Now this combination is connected across the AC supply. So that is the reason I connected a AC supply across this R and L. Similarly for RC, RLC also same procedures here. RC series circuit, RNC series, thereafter AC supply. Similarly, RLC connected in series, across this we connected a AC supply. This is common circuit for all. Okay, RL series, RC series, RLC series. We are going to connect a AC supply across this elements. Now, see here, we can write the equation by applying the mesh analysis. So voltage rise is equal to voltage drop. That is V is equal to VR plus VL. Similarly, we can write for this one also. V is equal to VR plus VC. Okay. Now later we will discuss this. Okay. First see these two comparisons. Okay. Now see here. Now I'm going to draw the phasor diagram for this equation. V is equal to VR plus VL. Now, if you want to draw the phasor diagram, first we need to draw the difference phasor. How to draw the difference phasor? In this, which one is common? In this loop, the current is the common. Current to voltage source, current to resistance, current to inductance is same. So that is the reason. First, we need to draw the current phase up. Now, if you observe here, this is my current phase up. This is my current phase up. Okay, first current phase up is drawn. Okay, thereafter, we need to draw the voltage across resistance and voltage across inductance. Okay, that means individual phasors we need to draw. But first, draw the VR. Now, so in the case of resistance, we already discussed that. In the case of resistance, voltage current both are in phase. Now, sir, so current is already drawn. On the same phase up, we need to draw the resistance phase up. Why? Because in the case of resistance, voltage current are both are in phase. So here I'm drawing the voltage phase up on the current phase up. Okay, thereafter draw the inductance phase up. Now in the case of inductance, voltage leads the current. So that's why towards upward direction, we need to draw the voltage across the inductance phase up. Okay, to draw any phase or diagram, first we need to draw the reference phase up. Thereafter, individual phasors. Okay, first reference phasor is drawn. Thereafter, individual phasor VR, individual phasor VL is drawn. Okay, thereafter we need to add VR and VL. If you want to add any phasors, just we need to draw the parallel lines from the individual phasors. Now, here, for this, this is my parallel line. Okay, for this, this is my parallel line. After drawing the parallel line from the intersection point, now this is called as intersection point, from the intersection point to the origin. If you draw a line, that is your addition of phase up, nothing but resultant phase up. Here it is. Now result is V. Now V. Okay. Now this is the phase up diagram for the RL series. Similarly, we can draw RC and RLC also. Now, next one is C here. V is equal to VR plus VC after applying the mesh analysis. See here. Voltage rise is equal to voltage drops. Okay. Here also same procedure. First draw the reference phase as current phase. Why? Because the current is common to all the elements. First draw the current phase. Okay. Thereafter, in the case of resistance, voltage current both are in phase. So that's why on the same phase, we are drawing this voltage phase up. Okay. Thereafter, in the case of capacitance, voltage lags the current. So that's why towards downward direction, we are drawing the voltage across the capacitance phase up. Okay, now we need to add VR and VC. If you want to add phasor, what do we need to do? Previously, we've done parallel lines now. So here also we need to draw the parallel line to the VR, parallel line to the VC. Now from the intersection point to the origin is called your resultant phasor V. Okay, now this is the phasor diagram for RC series circuit. Now see the RLC series circuit. Now in the case of RLC circuit, the equation is given by, here we have three conditions, that is, Whenever the inductive reactance is greater than capacitive reactance and inductive reactance is less than capacitive reactance and inductive reactance is equal to the capacitive reactance. Now, see here, case one, case two, case three. Now, first see the XL greater XC. If XL greater XC, indirectly VL greater VC. That means total voltage across these two. Across these two voltage is given by VL minus VC. Now, the equation will become V is equal to VR plus VL minus VC. That is what I written here. Okay. Now first draw the reference phase up. 
current phase are. Thereafter, draw the individual phase are. That means VR, VL, and VC. Now, in the case of resistance, voltage current both are in phase. So that's why on the same phase we are drawing the voltage across resistance phase are. Okay. Thereafter, draw the VL phase are. In the case of inductance, voltage is leading. So that's why towards upward direction, VL phase are. Thereafter, capacitance phase are. In the case of capacitor, voltage is lagging. lagging. So that's why towards downward direction, voltage across capacitor. Okay. But while drawing this VC as well as this VL phase are, this VL length, length of the VL must be greater than length of this VC. Why? Because here XL is greater, XC means indirectly VL is greater PC. So that's why the length of VL is always greater when compared to the length of VC. This is important point to be noted. Okay. VL length is greater when compared to the VC length. Why? Because XL is greater than XC. Indirectly VL is greater than VC. Okay. Now see here. After drawing VL, VL and VC, just subtract VL minus VC. That means this VL minus this VC. That means if it is 5, if it is 3, it will become 5 minus 3 towards upward direction. Similarly, VL minus VC towards upward direction. Okay. Now VL minus VC is drawn. Now this is my VL minus VC. Now we need to add VR and VL minus VC from this equation here. VR add with this VL minus VC combination. Okay. Now this is my VL. Okay, now see here. here, draw the parallel to the VR and draw the parallel to, parallel to this VLM minus VC. Okay, from the intersection point to the origin, that is a V. Okay, similarly, see here, second case is XC greater XC, XL. That means indirectly VC greater VL. It will become VC minus VL. VC is greater VL means VC minus VL. Now the equation will become V is equal to VR plus VC minus VL. That is what I written here. So V is equal to VR plus VC minus VL. Now, similar to previous cases, first draw the reference phase are I. Thereafter, integral phase are VR, VC, and VLC here. VR. In the case of resistance, voltage current, both are interest. So that's why on the same phase are we are drawing the VR. Thereafter, VL. VL means voltage leads the current. So that's why towards upper direction. Thereafter, VC. In the case of capacitor, voltage is lagging. So that's why towards down direction. Okay. Reference phase R is completed. Thereafter, individual phase are VR, VL, VC is completed. Now subtract VC minus VL, similar to previous case. Okay. Now see, so this is my VC minus VL. Here also important point to be noted that is the VC length must be greater when compared to VL length. Okay. This length must be lesser or this length must be greater. Why? Because VC is greater VL condition. Okay. Now subtract VC minus VL, you will get DC towards down direction. Okay, now draw the parallel to the VR and parallel to the VC minus VL. Then from the intersection point to the origin is called your resilient phase or V. Okay, next third condition, XL is greater, sorry, XL is equal to XC. XL is equal to XC. In this case, it is going to act like a impedance. That means we will get only V is equal to VR. Okay, now here, reference phase are thereafter VR phase are. Okay, now VR is equal to V. Now, this is about AC through RL, AC through RC, AC through RLC series circuit. Okay. Thank you.